The following simulation video shows a comparison of the same five-story building, better equipped with, or without SLB dissipators. The simulation demonstrates the effect on the structure when subjected to the same seismic signal as the recent earthquake in Turkey and Syria. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake has peak accelerations of 2G, meaning twice the acceleration of the gravity. To put it in a more visual way, 1G would be as if the building was hanging as a cantilever from its base subjected to the gravity as the lateral load, then for 2G means the earthquake subjected the structures to twice those loads. In the 40-second video we can see the response of the structures to the earthquake acceleration signal, and how the non-linear hinges appear in the structural elements, as colored dots, representing the damage sustained by the structure. The green hinges represent an immediate occupation, which means the damages are in the acceptable range. The blue represents life safety, meaning that the building must be inspected and might need repair. The red hinges represent collapse prevention, meaning the building is in great danger and the structure might collapse. A very important criterion in earthquake design is to prevent hinges appearing in columns, instead have the beams as the flexible elements because the instability in columns could potentially cause the collapse of the entire structure. In the video, we can see that in the structure equipped with SLB dissipators, only green hinges appear which are all located in the beams. If we take a look at the structure without dissipators, on the left-hand side of the video, it is evident how fast the hinges appear and how rapidly they develop into blue and red threat levels in the first level of the building, making the structure very vulnerable and likely to collapse. The unprotected building represents a typical framed structure, which is very flexible. As we have seen in the recent earthquake, structures such as these cannot withstand these strong lateral loads. An optimal way to rehabilitate or protect new structures is using seismic dissipators. The devices allow not only a more ductile structure but also prevent the main structural elements from being damaged. They function by attracting and absorbing the deformation when subjected to seismic activity, acting as a replaceable fuse for the building, protecting the structure. 